with all your heart don't let fear keep us apart trees do bend though straight and tall so must we to others call long have i waited for your coming home to me and living deeply on you life long have i waited for your coming home to me and living deeply on you life in ran san different christ is mediator of a new covenant so that by means of his death those who are called may receive the promise of an eternal inheritance in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with, with your spirit. spirit dear brothers and sisters as we are around the altar of the lord to celebrate this holy eucharist let us offer today all the students who are preparing and writing their sslc and plus 2 examinations may god enlighten their mind and heart so that they may be able to write the examination well and gain good result in their life let us also offer all our personal intentions in this holy eucharist in a special way offer all the intentions of the people who are participating in this holy eucharist in order to celebrate this holy eucharist in a worthy manner let us acknowledge our failures and shortcomings and ask pardon and forgiveness from god i confess to, to almighty god, god and to you, my brothers and sisters that i have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what i have done and in what i have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most serious fault therefore i ask blessed mary our virgin all the angels and saints and to you my brothers and sisters to pray, pray for, for me to the lord, lord our god. god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen, amen. lord have mercy on us all lord have mercy on us lord let us pray be near o lord to those who plead before you i look kindly on those who place their hope in your mercy that cleanse from the stain of their sins they may persevere in holy living and be made full heirs of your promise through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god for ever and ever amen you shall be the father of a multitude of nations a reading from the book of genesis chapter 17 verse 3 to 9 in those days 
Abraham fell on his face, and God said to him, Behold, my covenant is with you, and you shall be the father of a multitude of nations. No longer shall your name be called Abraham, but your name shall be Abraham. For I have made you the father of a multitude of nations. I will make you exceedingly fruitful, and I will make you into nations, and kings shall come from you. And I will establish my covenant between me and you and your offspring after you throughout their generation for an everlasting covenant to be God to you and to your offspring after you. And I will give to you and to your offspring after you the land of your surgerings, all the land of Canaan, for an everlasting possession, and I will be their God. And God said to Abraham, As for you, you shall keep my covenant, you and your offspring after you, throughout their generations. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord remembers His covenant, remembers His covenant forever. The Lord remembers His covenant, remembers His covenant forever. Turn to the Lord and His strength. Constantly seek His face. Remember the wonders He has done, His marvels and His words of judgment. The Lord remembers His covenant, remembers His covenant forever. O children of Abraham, His servant, O descendants of the Jacob, He chose. He, the Lord, is our God. His judgments are in all the earth. The Lord remembers His covenant, remembers His covenant forever. He remembers His covenant forever, the promise He ordained for a thousand generations, the covenant He made with Abraham, the oath He swore to Isaac. The Lord remembers His covenant, remembers His covenant forever. Kindly rise to welcome the gospel. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, that today you will listen to His voice, harden not your hearts, as at Meribah. Praise and honor to you. Lord Jesus Christ, praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 8, verse 51 to 59. At that time, Jesus said to the Jews, Truly, truly, I say to you, if anyone keeps my word, he will never see death. 
the Jews said to him, Now we know that you have a demon. Abraham died, as did the prophets. Yet you say, If anyone keeps my word, he will never taste death. Are you greater than our father Abraham, who died, and the prophets died? Who do you make yourself out to be? Jesus answered, If I glorify myself, my glory is nothing. It is my Father who glorifies me, of whom you say he is our God. But you have not known him. I know him. If I were to say that I do not know him, I would be a liar like you. But I do know him and I keep his word. Your father Abraham rejoiced that he would see my day. He saw it and was glad. So the Jews said to him, You are not yet fifty years old, and have you seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, before Abraham was, I am. So they picked up stones to throw at him, but Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, Christus Yeri Hodie Sember. Christ, yesterday, today, forever. This was the theme of the great Jubilee year 2000. This theme highlighted the perpetual divinity of Jesus. Christ yesterday, today and forever. However, Many could not grasp the divinity of Jesus. Many could not digest the fact that Jesus could be the Son of God. This discussion forms the center of the gospel of today. The life of Jesus was always faced criticism from his opponents. Jesus was hated by many. That was his, one of the companions all throughout his life. When Jesus declares about his divinity, that generated spark of anger among the Jews. The discussion between Jews and Jesus continues. The Jews had an immense pride that they are the children of their father Abraham. But the declaration of Jesus that truly, truly, I say to you, before Abraham was, I am. That furiated the Jews. Those words was for his critics very difficult to understand 
and they was against jesus by hearing these words i am the title of god yahweh so privilege given to the almighty god that was the name given to moses by god himself it was a blasphemy to use this title for any human being it is a sheer heretical thing to use this name for any human person that is why jesus had to face the consequences of his declaration that uh, that is the jews put stone to throw at him dear brothers and sisters the life of jesus expounds a very important truth that where there is a mention of divinity there are evil powers to destroy it where there are the presence of divine there are evil powers to destroy that so that is we find in the life of jesus when he was telling that he had an divine origin origin the people around him was not able to accept it jesus the one who was not ready to go according to the need of this world was the most divine dear brothers and sisters as we reflect on this gospel passage let us ask the grace to recognize the divinity of jesus that is revealed in the gospel in our lives then only we will be able to gain the reward that is prepared for us in heaven amen brethren then my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church look with the favor lord we pray on these sacrificial offerings that they may profit our conversion and the salvation of the world through christ our lord amen, amen. 
the lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit lift up your hearts we, we lift them up, up to, to the lord. lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it, it is, is right, right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for through the saving passion of your son the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty since by the wondrous power of the cross your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of christ crucified and so lord with all the angels and saints we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he. who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest hosanna in the highest hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy o lord the founder of all holiness may holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew for so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ <coughs> at the time he was betrayed and indeed willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith save us savior of the world for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free Therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and ministered to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember Lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope and rafael our archbishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face how mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god saint joseph her devoted spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages We may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, 
O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and forever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, in heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter, enter under, under my roof. roof. But only, only say, say the word, word and, and my, my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire earnestly to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as you are already there in my heart, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. different. God did not spare his own son, but handed him over for us all. 
with him he has given us all things let us pray nourished by your saving gifts we beseech your mercy lord that by this same sacrament with which you feed us in the present age you may make us partakers of life eternal through christ our lord amen, amen. the lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. spirit may almighty god bless you the father the son and the holy spirit amen, amen. go in peace glorifying the lord by your life thanks, thanks be, be to, to god, god. Ave Maria Ave Maria 